So I'm doing a solo recital on July the 9th. And my program is made up mainly of French and Spanish music. In fact, it is completely made up of French and Spanish music. But the twist that I have is that all of the French music that I'm doing is inspired by Spanish music and Spanish dances and Spanish rhythms. So like, for example, there is a Sevillana, there is a Habanera, there is a uh, Chanson Andalouse, a Bolero. So there are pieces of music that we will hear it sound like Spanish rhythms. And I have a, a, a Spanish pianist and I'm Spanish. And so I, this is music I love to sing. So we will have this union of Spanish music, Spanish flair and French composers. And actually, in recitals, a lot of times you hear a lot of German lead, you hear maybe even some French, a lot of French chansons. Um, but Spanish music, uh, Spanish art song, it doesn't seem like there is as much that is familiar to people's ears. I think that a recital definitely has a more intimate feeling than an opera. Because in opera, you have a big cast and you have a chorus and you have an orchestra. But with the solo recital, you just have the voice and the piano. And our space is very, very big because we are in this amazing castle. But at the same time, because the acoustic is so alive, I can really sing, I can use colors, and the audience really is not so far away. So um, I don't have to scream, I don't have to make everything huge, I can be subtle, and I trust that. I trust that the audience will respond to that, and I think that, uh, that this will make the recital a very special experience.